Well, as you can see, it's dark, the sun's coming up, but uh, I was hope I was actually going to the uh, gym, I was at the gym, coming back, and uh, had just an amazing moon was coming down, and I'm trying to capture it, but I think I might have missed it. I turned my headlights on. Man, you guys can't even see me. I did like the uh, cardinal sin. Put my camera right in the uh, back seat, just laying back there. The moon's going down. Look at the daylight. The daylight's already coming up. Ah. So right now, all I'm doing, I'm thinking in my mind, kind of where the moon's at, and it's probably not gonna be where I think it's at. So um, that's gonna suck. But anyway, I'm looking at my exposure time, thinking what I can do with that. The thing that really bothers me is it has this like, orange haze coming off it. And I got their building homes everywhere down here. So, sun's rising, moon's going down simultaneously. We are not gonna get no like, oh, it would be really cool if we had some mist on the water, but uh, that's not gonna happen. Shoot, 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 shoot. Man, it's right at the, uh, it's right at the tree line too, my God. Gunning. I don't think this is gonna make it. Hold on. Anyway, I missed it. There you go. Well, that was it. I missed it. Well, there's all kind of fish jumping. It's actually a pretty calm morning. So I'm gonna go back up to the truck regroup. Dang it. We've all been in that situation where you're driving down the road and you have a situation happening in the sky. It's just complete awesomeness. And you got five to 30 minutes to capture that situation. And then it's gone forever. Five tips that would help you not do what I just did. You know, it's like Monday morning quarterbacking. So here you go. Number one, these are in no particular order. You gotta have five go, your go-to spots. Something that you're familiar with. Something that's gonna take you maybe 15 minutes to get to. You gotta cover north, east, south, and west. Uh, for me, I have a field like right behind my house. It has a lone tree out there. I, it's, it's great, you know, I go out there maybe, that's probably only like maybe five to 10 times a year and photograph that one tree. But every time, every time I go out there, the situation's different. The tree looks different. Everything's different. The lake right behind me. This is another honey hole, I call it, because there's so many spots, coves in here. The trees are down, water's up, water's down. All kinds of different situations going on. So you gotta have those five go-to spots within 15 minutes of your house to get to fairly quickly. Two, I don't recommend you having your equipment inside your car. Extreme cold, heat, uh, sometimes you forget your equipment in there. I've done it before. Then you got the guy that wants a ride. He jumps in your vehicle, starts stomping around, breaks your equipment. I've been there, I've done that. That's not fun right there. My situation here, I was coming back from the gym doing some uh, morning, morning fitness stuff. You, know. you never know when I was coming home, just like it was today, it was the moon, the moon of all things. I didn't, never even dreamed of the moon looking like it was. I was coming down, it was like this orange glow. It's just glowing and radiating everywhere. And you can actually see the land formation. Well, the whole thing's land, but you could actually see the formations in the moon. I'm like, yeah, this is just cool. So I um, had to go home. But if I would have had my camera and gear with me then, th this, would have been a, this would have been a success. Number three, keep your gear always cleaned and at the door. If it's clean and it's upstairs and you're running up there to get it, someone's gonna say something to you. And ask questions and you're running around like a madman, got a reply back and then, uh, because they don't understand what you're doing. You're in a hurry, you run around like a madman, like the house is on fire, or someone got kidnapped or something. So 
Keep your gear clean and close to the door so you can just grab it and go. All right, another tip number four. When you're walking to one of your locations there, you're, you should be thinking about what settings you need. You got clouds versus moon, completely different animals right there. When you get there, you may have seconds to take this shot, and those seconds count. That's what happened to me. I had like just seconds. I mean, it, you could actually see in the video the moon just disappearing right before my eyes. It's gone. Number five, you gotta be calm. You gotta be smooth and you gotta be aware of your surroundings. I've broke more equipment being in a rush than anything else. Sometimes I'm in a stream taking a photo or hanging out somewhere. Or I have my tripod in a crazy situation. People are like, man, that's crazy. But man, I broke more equipment being in a rush. So just be calm, be smooth, and execute. And I'm Ken Hicks encouraging you to take care of the outdoors and enjoy it because it's the only one we got. Mm -hmm.